even numbers are important to learn about. Knowing the pattern and concept behind these numbers will help you in the future as you learn more about number patterns, prime numbers, and division. Watch as I demonstrate how to determine if a number is odd or even. First, I lay out one cube, then two. Even numbers can be partnered off. In math, we call these pairs, three and four. Four makes a second pair, five, six. That makes three pairs. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten makes five pairs of two. Even numbers have either a two, four, six, eight, or zero in the ones column. Each of these numbers can be divided evenly or equally into two groups. Odd numbers have either a one, three, five, seven, or nine in the ones column and cannot be divided equally into two groups. Let's practice with a deck of cards and identify two digit numbers. I drew the number 75. In order to determine if my number is odd or even, I ignore the tens column and look carefully at the ones column. It is a five. Since five cannot be divided equally into two groups, I can identify 75 as an odd number. Let's try another number. I drew 74. The four in the ones column is even. I know this because four can be divided equally into pairs of two. Now I drew the number 13. The three in the ones column tells me it's odd. The number three can create one pair but has one left over. The process is the same for identifying three digit numbers and on up. I drew 144. I ignore all other place values and look directly at the ones column. It's a four. Four has two equal pairs, so it is even. That was fun, but I'd like to show you an exciting card game to play and practice those same skills. You'll need a deck of cards. First, take out the face cards and the tens in your deck. Then, grab a friend to play. A game of rock, paper, scissors, or a coin toss can decide who will be odd and who will be even. Each partner will draw one card. If the sum of the numbers is an odd number, the partner who is odd will get to keep the cards. If the sum is even, the partner who is even will keep the cards. The object of the game is to collect the most cards by the end of the deck. My partner has chosen to be even, and I am odd. I drew a 2, and my partner a 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 5 is an odd number, so I get to keep the pair. Let's keep playing. I drew a 7 and my partner drew a 5. 7 plus 5 equals 12. My partner gets to keep it because 12 has a 2 in the 1's column, which is an even number. Nice job, partner! Now, I drew a 1 and my partner drew a 1. That's a doubles math problem. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 is an even number, so my partner gets to keep it. I think you get the hang of it. Now you try it. Grab a deck of cards, a friend, and practice identifying odd and even numbers. Have fun!